Attention drivers, starting tomorrow, it's going to be illegal to, you know, have your cell phone in your hand as you're driving. Over the last year, law enforcement has been warning you. Yep, but as our Ashley Mitchell tells us, starting June 1st, police are cracking down. Holding our phones while driving is something many of us do every single day. But starting June 1st, under Alabama law, this will be illegal. Anytime you're using your phones, you're distracted, you're not paying attention to the road, that's a problem. Especially you have uh, school kids out right now on summer break, you have more traffic moving through the area. A split second of distracted driving can cause a lifetime of regret. That's why Public Information Officer Blake Brown of the Mobile Police Department says officers are cracking down. The Alabama hands-free law goes into effect June 1st, making it illegal for you to hold a cell phone while driving. The statute included a one-year grace period where officers only issued warnings. It's a secondary offense, so if you are caught breaking the law, we do see with another offense on the road and you are pulled over and you're caught with that phone in your hand, you will be ticketed. Drivers can face a $50 fine for their first offense and receive a point on their driving record. For the second offense, the fine increases to $100 with two more points added to their record. Those points could have an impact on your insurance costs. The more you get, the more you may have to pay. Brown says the law doesn't mean you can't use your phone. You just need to keep your hands on the wheel. That's right now the, the best option I feel that you could use in your car. Um, if you're looking to use your navigation on your phone, use a car mount on your windshield or use an older style GPS if you need to. I caught up with some local drivers to hear what they had to say about the new mandate. Do you think it might be hard to get used to? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I drive a lot and I use my phone a lot, but I do it hands free. So I feel like it would be a little bit more complicated, but it might be more safer. I feel like it's probably for the best of anything, because I mean, even if your phone, if you're, you're like holding your phone and everything, it can still be caused as a distraction and stuff like that. I mean, even if like just say like a text message just pops up or anything like that, Doom, boom, you look at it for one second, just one split second, it takes all that just to ruin your life and probably somebody else's life. And remember, you have to be hands-free at all times, even when you're at a stoplight. So, reverse those habits.